YouTube, what's up boys? Welcome back to our CFM journey. $500 CFM League, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. We've got a matchup versus the Carolina Panthers. Obviously, division rival. We are one game behind them in the standings right now, so this is very important. And as we kind of just cruise through his lineup, we see Terry McLaurin, one of his best players. Marquise Brown, David Njoku, lots of studs on this team. And similar to our Falcons game, we've got 97, 96, and 94 speed at receiver, which is gonna be, it's gonna be a problem. And uh, the Panthers is ran by Boosts, who is one of my buddies. He was in the other CFM. We're very similar skill set. Uh, if we played five or six games, we would split down the middle. So this is a really good game. And taking a look at his corners, we got a Killa Witherspoon, Caleb Farley, 96 speed, Greedy Williams, 94 speed, Justin Reed up top at safety, and then free safety, Stearns and Nick Scott. So not an amazing team, but pretty solid all around. Nothing has changed with our team. This is what we're working with. Or if you're new here, this is what we've got. Amari Cooper, ETN Galladay, Sammy Watkins, Romeo Dubes, OJ Howard, led by James. Winston. And then defensively, uh, strong suit's going to be corner. Marlon Humphrey, Trayvon Diggs, also got Montez Sweat and Chandler Jones, Jackson Hill, Jalen Petrie up top. So we're going to get right into it. This is post-com. So we're going to be watching the game. Uh, I already played it. And the video after this one will be live com uh, as promised. I need to get better in this formation. Just haven't been playing to my full potential yet. And it's still learning, obviously, but you know, this is a big OJ Howard game. I will say it's also a big Romeo Dubes game. First and 10, 21 yard line. We're going to start off running the ball. I, I don't hate it. ATN's going to get an animation. That's 10 yards easy. Uh, went to this a couple times. This look a couple times. It really just didn't end up working. Like it's open. Pass lead, free form outside, and we just don't get the animation, unfortunately. It's like kind of there, but it's also a really sketchy throw. Now we go into a curl flat look here. This is going to be my go-to versus man coverage. I think we look at dupes, slants, covered, RB, yup. Great ball. Great ball. Great hole shot. We're playing a lot of cover two man shaded down this game. That's what Boost loves to run. And it's a very frustrating defense. But if we get enough time, those posts and those deep crosses are going to open up. Not a, not a bad call. Follow the guard. Make a cut. ETN. Yeah, so there was really no run defense on the field. ETN two for 23. Great start. We got tight end out with the wheel. Probably looking OJ. Yep. That's going to be a great route from OJ Howard. 15 yards just like that. Easy. What's that? So we got a Texas route in a corner on the left. Uh, gonna check down ETN, hit a juke move, but unfortunately we're tackled down on the three. I mean, we're 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 moving the ball with ease. This is a good first drive. Once I get inside the five yard line, even like the seven yard line, this should be my go-to play. Uh, bench with a slant and just watch his user. The slant literally gets open like every single time. So take a six nothing lead. Kenny Galladay getting on the board first. Kenny Galladay really making an impact here in Tampa Bay. We're up seven nothing. Good first drive. Good first drive. Very happy with that. So for this game, we're going to have a specific defense. Marlon Humphrey's going to be playing free safety and Trayvon Diggs will be in the nickel. Uh, we've got KO abilities on Marlon Humphrey and Diggs. Unfortunately, the deep route KO only lights up at 20 yards or more. And that corner out is ran at 18 yards. I didn't know this. I wish I would have known that going into it, but I do now. So medium route KO next time we play boost. I wanted Marlon Humphrey up there so we could get a reaction. You can see the ability lights up there, but we just get torched. And Boost is a very streaky player, so if he gets a big gain, he'll go hurry up and he'll quick snap you. As you can see right here in three plays, he's already on the eight-yard line. We luckily, that you know, that route bounces off the back of the end zone. And Marlon ends up making a play on that corner route. And through the same thing three times in a row. And should have gotten a touchdown. Marlon Humphrey's just better. Bo Boost, very streaky player. Also throws some questionable balls. I think he got screwed over by EA right there, though. Terry got a weird animation. I'm not complaining, though. So we have the ball 17-yard line. We need six here. Points off turnovers is how we're going to win these CFM games. We've got a slant out of the tight look. That's going to be an easy 10 yards to Romeo Dubes. I did put threat detector on my quarterback. I took off protected. So I'm going to be able to tell who's blitzing on third and fourth down. I really do like that because it helps with quick snapping, throwing to the running back in certain situations. Uh, I think it's very advantageous. The one thing about this game is OJ Howard over the middle, single high coverage or uh, single coverage. He's going to be a monster. I'm highballing that inside pass lead every single time. I go into trips tight end. Ah, oh, that's terrible. Absolutely horrible. To be locked up for this. And A's open, B's open, X is wide open, and I get sacked. I should actually be put in prison. I deserve jail time for switching into trips tight end there. Only versus boost is this fine. And obviously, I'm, I'm not just, I'm just trolling boost. Boost is a good buddy of mine. Good friend. Not really, but uh, virtually. Looking dubs, look at Cooper. Uh, just trying to get some separation from the underneath shaded man. Uh, I think Amari gets open free. On the slant, we hit him. Quick gain of eight. I know I'm going to go for it on fourth down, so we're going to make third down a little bit more manageable. Cut that down to third and 16. Third and 16, 46 yard line. I like the tight end. Like the tight end. Quick throw to the tight end. No free form, no high ball junk. Just get the ball out. That's Jameis Winston. That's the Jameis Winston I know, and that's why I drafted Jameis. We're going to throw that to the running back there. As I stated earlier, 
Threat detector, let me know who's blitzing. Nichols blitzing, no one's manned up on the running back. Quick snap, dump. Running back, first down, ETN, second quarter. Here we go. Slant will get open here. Blows past his user. Unfortunately, Kenny Galladay is 85 speed and he can't score. As the receivers, that's going to be our draft uh, priority. I think OJ Howard is a good tight end. I need abilities on him though. And if he can't get me abilities, I might have to draft one. We go for a little motion slant whip combo. Whip's not open. Slant is and dubs can't get in the end zone. We're down on the two. This is where, uh, pay attention to what happens here. The second and goal. I'm in weak close. I have no idea what I'm doing. And his user's right there. I'm going to throw to the fullback. I don't know if boosting press Y or he didn't get an animation. We scored though. Laguerre Blunt getting six. Regardless though, going to take a 14-0 lead versus a division opponent. It's an 11 play, 82 yard drive. Eating up three minutes and 51 seconds. Uh, domination. So, uh, briefly, as I mentioned briefly earlier, Trayvon Diggs is going to be nickel. Marlon Humphrey, right safety. And we have a curl flat or a hard flat on the right side. We want to make sure we're guarding that corner, which is completed at 18 yards, not 20. We don't get a breakup animation. Unfortunate. But you could watch me adjust. Y is going to be over top. Uh, Marlon's going to be down man on McLaurin right there. And here, I believe we actually do get a breakup. Which is why, which is why we got Marlon out there because you can see he backpedals and then it's a full 90. It's a speed turn into that corner route. Don't know why he does it, but if that's going to be the animation I'm getting, I want my best corner out there. Looks like Boost is just going to do the normal setup. I'm on the crosser and we're just screaming in Montez Sweat. Unfortunately, he doesn't have double or nothing yet. I'm looking at him right now. He has an 84 overall though, so uh, he will soon, I think. Quick completion over the middle to Njoku. I miss a tackle per usual. We want to watch Chandler Jones rushing off the left side. He has Edge Threat Elite. If you know what that ability does, right there it lights up. Interception. You see Edge Threat Elite, when a quarterback's outside of the pocket, and the player with Edge Threat Elite is in the vicinity of the quarterback and he throws, it's going to cause a terrible throw. Not even remotely close to being accurate. For some reason, I had to curl flat on that side and he just throws it right to him. That's, was that Daxton Hill? Pick six? As Daxton Hill, right? Chandler Jones, that's a direct impact. A direct impact on a day two pick, uh, fifth round. He is old, but he still he still has an ability, so he's going to contribute to our team. And now we're up 21 nothing. And if I were to say this game is over, I'd be lying to you. Uh, Boost, like I mentioned before, streaky player. Uh, we're going to see him go on a little bit of a run shortly. But to start of this game, uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers look like a, a top five team in the power rankings of CFM, if, if I were to say so myself. Uh, if he's going to freestyle in trips, I will take myself uh, 10 times out of 10. We shade underneath. He misses a touchdown. Checks down to the running back. I had a touchdown over top because I'm shading underneath like an idiot. I'm going to be on Terry McLaurin. I'm going to fade off of him, and he throws right into Marlon Humphrey. Rather than going up for the interception animation, I would rather just get a break up there. Yeah, we're, we're going to go for a little bit. A little dicey cover zero blitz. Second and 10. We're getting a motion look from Terry McLaurin. Who's man? Oh, is that Diggs? I think it is Diggs. We get a, a screamer. Larry Wilson, PTSD, saw the grenades and the shell casings flying through the air, uh, and he ends up tackling the quarterback there. That's why I drafted him. Little Texas route, gets my user, also gets a tackle battle. A good play. If we check time, there's 40 seconds left in the second quarter. I have one timeout. Really just trying to keep this dude out of the end zone. He's going to throw a high ball, and we're going to intercept that. Don't know what that was. You might be thinking, like, this game's definitely over. Just watch what I do before halftime. For some reason, some demon conjured in my body. And they go, you know what? We're going to try to put up a touchdown with one timeout and 30, 31 seconds left. I told you guys earlier there was a sketchy throw. Haven't labbed it at all. We throw it to Amari Cooper and it ends badly. Greedy Williams going to take this back for a 31-yard pick six to end the first quarter or to end the first half. And he does start with ball in the second half. So you can assume what Boost does to get himself back in this game. We're just going to skip to the next drive. We are officially in the future. 21-7, third quarter just started. He has the ball. I don't, I really, I have no comment for what I did before halftime there. Again, an 18-yard throw. We are just on our heels now. He's throwing an out route. Marquise Brown, that motion out, really good. And now it's 21-14, just like that, because I decided to do some stupid. We have the ball on the 31. This is where I'm going to try to get Travis Etienne going, just eating some clock. And that's going to be a nice nine-yard run. Five for 41. ETN had a really, really nice day this game. I don't know why I call this, but I like it. I think I go to the tight end here too. That is ignorant. That's just a, that's just a I'm better throw. We got here, we got a little, little halfback base. Gets blown up. We're going to go a little flood concept on the left side. He dropped into a quarter, so that's going to get bagged. X, Amari Cooper on the playmaker. We're going to cut up, and that's about like six yards on third and nine, making it fourth and three. We could take a field goal here and go up two scores, but... 
I just want to assert my dominance versus boost, prove to him that I'm the better Madden player. So we're going to go for this fourth down and three conversion because I want to go up 14 points. But we're going we're, we're gonna to go into our little slant whip combo here with a backside post and ETN in the flat. We're going to read the mesh point between the tight end and the receiver. Both it's bagged, but luckily coming across the backside, he's kind of yelling on a post and that's going to fry. So found the soft spot in the zone. Connect on it first and go from the three. We're running the stretch to the to the Y side of the field where he's got like four extra guys hanging out. Luckily though, Travis Etienne's better. That's why we spent a day two pick on him and he's gonna beat his man to the edge and that's just a touchdown. On to boost drive, we're gonna have this motion out route followed by the corner and the streak and he throws the motion out route because I forgot to hard flat over there and Marquise Brown takes off. Stiff army my guy into the dirt. At least we got our lick back. I, I called a timeout and still put the wrong defense out there. How lovely is that? And of course... Forgot to man up the tight end, and that's just going to be, that's just a bad play. Bad play. ETN did have a pretty good series uh, last drive, so we're going to go eight-yard carry. Oh, man. I, I run an out route. I'm, a prof I'm professional at, at throwing games. We're in cover two, man. Great run defense there by Jadavion Clowney. Way to get through that. Here, I believe this is a Trayvon Diggs KO. Great knockout. That ability only will light up a couple times in a game, but if we're going to get that animation on that play, I will gladly run it. Fourth and 12. Oh my God. Oh, Trey Flowers. Yeah, I think he was man on the running back there. It is six foot three user in CFM. He's like a 70, mid 70 overall. That animation right there is exquisite. Exquisite, 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 exquisite. Never mind. Uh, different, different universe. First and 10, slant route, knockout, unfortunate. Might have skipped a play on accident. Third and 11, probably looking tight end here. Yeah, tight end fries. We're gonna make sure we get down. Three and a half minutes, we're on the 37. Little counter play. Do I find the hole here? We we do. Only five yards, but still it's a positive run. Net positive for four. Back in the trip side end again. This time we're going HB base. Following a pulling guard, 69, just going to absolutely demolish his user. We're making a couple guys miss, and that was very close to being a touchdown. We're taking three, taking a 10-0 lead inside the two-minute warning, or a 10-point lead inside the two-minute warning. Wow. I'm not going to call timeouts in this situation, obviously. We're on the corner out. The post corner is bagged, and that is a breakup. Should have been an interception from Rondé Barber, but I will take it. Remember, he does have Marquis going on that left side. I believe he tries motion him out here. Yeah, he, he, he thinks I'm shaded down. I shaded down last play. I'm not going to shade down again. And there is Marquis going on the left side, trying to get a streak to him. We are in cover two, man, and we get a good break up there. Just going to, you know, just going to take body off ball. Third and 10, minute 30, going for the motion out look here. I think I have a hard flat over there that plays that well. We do get a sack, Chandler Jones. Great game from Chandler Jones. Sunsetting for boost. We're just in cover two, man, again. I'm on that corner route, making sure he doesn't throw that. And we do get another pressure that time to Davion Clowney. And there you have it. So, like I mentioned, the next video will be gameplay versus the Ravens. And that is live comm. We tried out live comm. It's actually a lot of fun. So, hopefully you guys enjoy. That being said, Jack's dying.